today I'm going to be starting a classroom prep vlog. It is only July 11th and I told myself I wasn't going to do anything school related until like July 15th. That was my goal. I started doing school stuff like honestly about a week ago. But it hasn't been anything too crazy. Last night I did kind of dive into curriculum just a little bit. But that's because I'm the type of person that like needs to plan and have an idea especially since we're starting two new curriculums this school year we're having a new math and ela curriculum i kind of just need to wrap my head around it so i didn't do anything too crazy but i started getting my thoughts down on paper and that's just what works for me so it actually did help me usually i just feel more overwhelmed after diving into that stuff but it did actually kind of help calm my nerves a little bit about starting two new curriculums and just being overwhelmed with everything. What I'm going to be doing in this video is basically just printing a lot of stuff that I've already prepared. Um, I have a folder on my computer called To Print and every time I finish something I've just been putting it in there. So today is Sunday. I had to drop off Brendan at work because his um, transmission in his car like basically broke and it would be way too expensive to fix it so he's just looking for a new car. So until he finds a new car, I'm kind of driving him around. So I dropped him off, I just took a shower, and now I'm finally getting around to eating breakfast. It's 10.34, but yeah. So I meal prepped the other day, like three things of overnight oats, and I haven't had them yet, so I need to eat them like these next three days. excited to eventually film an apartment tour but I just have a couple things I still want to pick up just a few like decor things I've been pretty satisfied honestly like this feels finished to me but like I don't really have anything on the walls in the living room and I've been thinking about it I'm like I do want a few things nothing crazy because as you guys know I like to keep it minimal so I'm thinking of just getting some pictures developed maybe even in black and white or I was also thinking of getting like digital portraits done I had Emily do a picture of me um, in the digital portrait format and it came out so cute she's at bloom in the classroom on Instagram so I'm thinking of sending her like a picture of me and Brendan that she can do maybe like me and my family and like my siblings so we'll see what I end up doing but I will be filming an apartment tour soon when Okay, this one I definitely could have put some more milk in. Not sure what happened. Usually the consistency is a bit more milky. Not totally milky, but just like more milkier than this. This pretty much like absorbed everything. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm going to get everything ready to print. Okay, so I'm going to open up my to print folder. And this is everything that I need to prep but it's basically all done I just need to like print it so I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on this is not my original idea I saw this on Instagram and I wish I didn't like unsave it after I made it so if I can find who first posts this on Instagram I will link them down below but this is not my original idea basically it's a double sided sign that says bathroom and drinks are open and then bathroom and drinks are closed and basically they're only going to be closed during teaching time, but I think it's nice to have this visual so that no one is asking. This is super unnecessary, but I am changing my binder covers and binder spines to kind of match the font that is in the rest of my classroom. I know that's like super annoying, but that's just how I am. So yeah, this is like unnecessary work added to my plate, but I'm just printing out new binder spines and binder covers. Basically, all the fonts I use are created by Buy Literacy Now on Instagram. You can um, buy her font bundle on Teachers Pay Teachers. I will have it linked down below. This specific font is BN Sunrise Bay, and I am just obsessed with it. I use it for like all my projects. I'm also printing some new calendar headers, like just the headers because last year they printed a little funky um, and I just wanted them cleaner so my calendar set is actually up on my teachers pay teachers store now so if you're interested the entire calendar with all the labels I'm just printing out um, the day of the week labels but they include the numbers the day of the week and the months and from TPT I bought this cursive alphabet line I wanted a cursive alphabet line in my classroom but I never got around to it last year and this one is super cute it is illustrated by Mikkel letters from Mikkel on Instagram and she makes the cutest little illustrations and stuff so this is a cursive alphabet line with influential people drawn on it and I thought it was super simple 
and like even though it has color it's still going to match my neutral classroom perfectly so I'm really excited about this I just have to print, laminate and cut all of them so that's going to take a little while. The next thing that I made and I'm really excited for are these grouping cards. So I saw this somewhere on Instagram so it's not my original idea and I thought it was so cool and such a great idea to like pair students up quickly or group them in groups of three or whatever it may be. So I just made two different ones. I don't know how the original person did this, but I just made two separate cards. So this right here is one card. This right here is one card. And like half the class will get this set and the other half will get that set. But basically, if I need to put them into pairs or groups quickly, I can just say, okay, if you have a gold five, partner up with a silver five. Or if you have a silver five, find another silver five for your partner. Things like that. So I'm really excited about these. I think I'm going to laminate them and put them on their desks and it's just a quick way to partner up. And then like I mentioned earlier, these are just the updated binder covers that I did. It's super basic of course. I created this basic nurse form last year and just never used it so I'm going to prep those this year so that they're ready to go. I also created these arrival and dismissal procedures posters. I want to do the um, poster trick. I'm going to print these at like 200% so that it's like a four page thing that I can cut and paste together. Another pointless thing, I redid my teacher toolbox labels, just made them even more simple. I feel like I just keep making things more and more simple and clean. More labels, I kind of was just playing around with this. I don't know what I want to do yet with my three drawer um, stair light bins that I have. Right now I have them as daily bins, so like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and next week, but I never actually made the right size, so I just put like the Target adhesive labels, and that's how I labeled them, but I want them to be like full size. So I made these, but I also made like group one through six because maybe I want to do something with like groups. I don't know. Then I have my rewards that I need to print for my classroom economy system. I used some of these last year, but because of COVID, we couldn't use all of them. And then I created these little posters of our math and ELA time, kind of like a little pie chart of how our time is split up. And I originally had like the minutes on it. But I think I like it better like this, just in case I have to make a lesson go longer or shorter, whatever it may be. They know that the chunks of time are usually going to be the same. So for math, we're using iReady Classroom, like I mentioned. And it seems like try, discuss, and connect is a really important part of the lesson. And then we are going to do centers. So that is our math workshop, I guess you could call it. And then I split ELA into Readers and Writers Workshop. So Readers Workshop is kind of new for me. Um, I've always wanted to do it and that was the original plan, but it just didn't work out that way last year. So we did independent reading like all together as a class. It wasn't a center. We did centers, but for the lesson I would still teach a skill. But then we didn't do independent reading until right before lunch and we did it all together and I really liked that but it didn't give them the opportunity to like go into their independent reading and like use this skill that we just learned about. So we are going to be doing Reader's Workshop and Writer's Workshop. I'm really excited. Writer's Workshop I feel like I did kind of do that. It wasn't perfect but I did like teach a skill and then they would go and do that like right after. But we didn't really have a lot of share time, so I included share time in these, which I'm excited about. So I think that's pretty much it of everything I've prepped so far and basically what I need to print. It's going to be pretty loud in here because we have the AC going. Okay, so my printer is on. I actually have a dilemma with the electrical socket. I literally have to put something in between it to make that top. Um, outlet like whatever is plugged into it has to be elevated or it doesn't work so I don't know what's going on I printed a decent amount of stuff I noticed that my printers black ink was like skipping a little bit which it usually doesn't do so I think that it's actually like starting to get low but the app doesn't realize that yet. I think it's because I always keep my printer off and they don't recommend that because then it can't like communicate with the printer over Wi-Fi. Things like this, like the nurse form that I printed, I can of course just make copies at school, but I like 
printing that first one at home so it's already ready to go when I get to school. These nurse forms are super big. I didn't realize that I probably could have done four to a page. Again, I just have a set of class rewards which I'll make copies of at school. I might print these on colorful paper, who knows. These are the grouping cards. I just printed all of them. I just printed, um, oh, oops. I'm gonna need to print another one. I thought I printed four, but there's only three here, I guess. I don't know. As of right now, I have 20 students, so, and there's six to a page, so this is only 18. So this is what I was talking about with like the black ink. I don't know, it's just not as dark as it could be. So I might end up redoing these when I get a new, fresh black cartridge because they're just, I know my printer is better than that. You can really see it on this one, I feel like, like the black was just cutting out. So I might have to reprint those. HP Instant Ink is literally the best thing ever created, especially for teachers, because you just get endless ink and you can print a certain amount of pages each month and get free ink. So you don't have to pay for ink, it's just you pay for a subscription. There's different levels of the subscription, so the cheapest one is like 99 cents a month and you can print 15 pages a month. Um, and they will send you ink when you need it. So as soon as your printer is getting low on ink, they will send you through the mail the ink cartridges. So I right now have a bunch of free months because of you guys. If you use my link down below, I will get a free month and you will get a free month. So thank you guys for using my link and signing up. This is my bathroom sign. It took me a couple tries to figure out how to get it like back to back so I could just print on one paper. But I figured it out and it's super cute. See, the like, color looks great. And then I have all my binder covers. I actually ended up printing these on cardstock. But again, with the black ink, I don't know, I might have to end up reprinting it because even though it's not like terrible, it's just going to bother me, I know it is. So that is everything I printed and honestly for the rest of the day, I don't want to do any school related stuff. Um, so I'm probably going to make myself some lunch. It is 11.48 and watch some Netflix or something. I just want to sit on my couch. And relax. I just printed one more of this, so that's all set. Don't have to worry about it. I have all the things I printed, and I'm gonna put them right into my teacher bag. Um, oh my god, there's literally dust on it. <laughs> this teacher bag is from Amazon. If you're interested, I have it linked on my storefront, which is always in the description box. Um, I believe it was $40, and it lasted me all last school year. And I'm gonna go for year two with this bag. I just don't feel like buying a new one. It's in perfect condition. One of my teacher gram friends, I forget who it was, honestly, that was posting about, oh, I think it was um, Ellie. Why am I blanking on her Instagram name? But she had this bag like the year before last year and it was like their old edition of it. And her straps were like breaking off. But they updated it and I tell you like it's good because this bag has been super heavy at points throughout the school year and I've carried it with like one strap on my shoulder and it is not ripping at all. So I'm really excited to get to get another year out of this and I wouldn't be surprised if I could get a couple more years out of it. Um, it's really good quality. So this is $40. On Amazon I'll have it linked down below if you're interested it's under my teacher faves so inside um, I put like papers and stuff that I prep in the laptop sleeve case thing section so all these papers I'm just gonna put right in there because it'll keep them nice and straight and they won't get ruined I don't know if you can see but my papers are nice and secure in there nothing else is in here I emptied it out except for like oh I don't know if we're supposed to return keys, but they never said anything, so I don't know. Um, this is my lanyard that I got from Etsy. It's so cute, and obviously my aesthetic, it's like, it matches everything I do. I have been reading so much lately. I finished that um, nonfiction one on the top, so it has to go back to the library, but I have two more nonfictions up next on my list. And then I have three fiction books from the library and one fiction book that like I own right now because I got it from a raffle. But I'm about to watch some TV. I'm going to look and see what I want to make for lunch. Honestly, probably just something super quick because I'm not making like a full on meal. I actually planned out next week and the week after because I go grocery shopping bi-weekly when I get paid. This is next week's and our anniversary is next week so we're going out and then we eat out on Fridays. And then on Sundays, we usually go to Brendan's mom's house. So that's like three days next week that I don't have to cook, which is nice. And then I'm just doing super basic stuff.
for the rest, so that'll be nice. But this is the reality of my lunch right now. We have some pizza rolls, travel bag Doritos, and juice. Gonna watch some manifest. I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like I'm not totally hooked. And then Bridgerton, I've read the book. And for some reason, the show is not doing it for me. I don't know. About six days until our pod comes. Two things that I went ahead and sold on Facebook Market.